Okay, today we're gonna make the best dessert treat you'll ever have. My mom's special Nanaimo bars. Okay, the ingredients we're gonna need are sugar, Hershey's cocoa, 100% cocoa, chopped walnuts, Baker's chocolate semi-sweet, a whole bunch of butter, an egg, flaked coconuts, vanilla, graham crackers, and powdered sugar, and then this is for your custard. And you can get this at a store called Fred Meyer. Okay, while I'm doing the first layer, what I generally will do is put the butter over this water and start warming it to melt it. Okay, so for our first layer, we need to get these ingredients. Two cubes of butter, quarter cup of sugar, five tablespoons of 100% cocoa, one egg, and then one teaspoon of vanilla concentrate. Okay, the butter is already melted. I started doing that. I'm going to add our cocoa. Okay our sugar and our egg and then we're gonna run that boil that get it nice and hot and while that's getting warm we're gonna do the next mix okay we want to mix this up really good as well and then get that on boiling okay we're still on the first layer and so what we do next is we get crushed graham crackers two cups Sweet flaked coconut, one cup, and one half cup of chopped walnuts. Okay, so we put this in, then this guy, then that guy. Let me just mix it up really, really good. Then what I do is I'll put a little, kind of cup it like this because our cocoa mix is just about done on the burner over here and I don't like it getting on the, getting all over the glass. I want to get a good mix. <laughs> Mixture of chocolate and then I'm going to pour it in here. You got, I've got this glove on because the, the bowl is super hot right now. So, and then I've got all the resin here so just scoop it all out. Don't leave any goodies in there. Okay, man, I'm gonna mix it all up here. Then can you get it down here? See how I'm keeping it off the glass and just get a good mix here? I'm trying to keep it off the glass, but then you mix this up. This is gonna be your first layer that we put in our dish. Get it all mixed up good. Okay, we're gonna pack it in now. We got it all mixed up. So, mixed up real good. This is your base layer. Lots of butter and chocolate and sugar. Lots of goodies in there. Lots of calories. Christmas calories. Then you just smash it down and make it nice and flat as best you can. Uh, you can use a 9 inch by 9 inch dish. This one works just fine too. Okay, before we start, I want to tell you, I forgot to tell you guys to put the first layer in the refrigerator while you're doing the second layer. So here's the second layer. We've got one cube of butter, which we're going to melt. We've got six tablespoons of milk, four tablespoons of custard powder, and four cups of powdered sugar. Now this is a double recipe of the icing. You don't need to do this much it's quite a bit so don't forget to put the first layer in the refrigerator while you're working on these layers okay we've got our butter I've got it all ready to go there's our melted butter we're gonna pour that in okay and I'm gonna mix that up a little bit into the butter okay pour the milk in Okay, mix that up just a little bit and our custard powder. Boom. Okay. Get the rest of that out there. Uh -huh. 
I got my makeshift blender right here with my mix this up real good. Okay, we're just about done mixing this up. Get it mixed up real good. Okay, here's our base layer that's been refrigerating. And I'm just going to pour this in here. This is a double recipe of the custard by popular demand. People really like the custard, and I only did a single recipe last time. But So we're going to put a nice, healthy layer of this on our treat here and get some good feedback probably okay, and then we're just going to spread it around with a knife and make it even actually it'll probably act like a self-leveling compound and level itself there and then we're going to put this back in the refrigerator okay the last layer is going to be baker's chocolate semi-sweet one square and one tablespoon of butter and we're gonna put it in the dish and boil it like we have the other okay so we've got our chocolate square melted with the butter here and we're gonna do our final layer now this has been refrigerating I put it on extra cold in the fridge so this layer would get cold and it's not gonna get mushed up with this chocolate and then we just spread it on there and then we put it back in the fridge when we're done and we put the I put the fridge on extra cold to let it harden and once it hardens you can really cut it in nice squares and everything. So we're gonna spread it around here with a knife and get her done. We'll spread it around evenly. And we will have a nice surprise. Okay, here's the finished product. We're going to put it in the cold refrigerator and let it cool down. Some of the custard um, mushed in with the topping because it was so warm it melted the custard. But it's okay. It'll still taste delicious. Okay, here's the finished product. And you can see I did a double recipe of the custard so you can see how thick that is. It's all hard and I'm going to cut it now. I turn the fridge to really cold so I can get a good cutting on it. But that's a nice thick layer of the custard. Excited. <laughs>